Okay, so here we go with this. I got this purse when I was in New Orleans. It's a knockoff, but I love it because I, I saw that bow. Those are the stones that I'm going to be using that I got with my hot fix tool. And right now, that's the rhinestone sheets. I'm going to be showing you all how I prepare my surface. And I do this because I'm very hard on things. You know, I like throw my shoes off when I get home, throw my purse. And I like to be able to do that because what? My stones don't fall off. And this is how. So I pre-prep my surface either using E6000 or Crystal Clear Gorilla Glue. When I use Crystal Clear Gorilla Glue, I use a pump, a brush to brush it on. It's much harder to do that with E6000 because y'all already know. Strong adhesive. So, yeah. I'm putting it specifically where I want it to go. I have those um, two um, sheets with the stickers because I don't like it to go out of the area. I like to have it specifically where I wanted to go. I don't like excess glue. I'm really tedious about that. I just really don't like that. So I use my masking tape to mask off where I don't want glue or, you know, any accidents to happen. So I, I keep it maintained and that's why my work, I like it to look clean, professional. Right now I'm cleaning off um, any excess glue because it must have went over the line. And so now I'm going to clean it up. A lot of people they are, if it's a little bit of glue that's over where they want to go, they'll either leave it there or try to pick it off when it's you know dry. And I, I don't, I don't judge anybody, but I like to fix it as soon as I see it. That way, my finished work I'm 100% happy with instead of me feeling like this is going to drive me crazy because all I see is that glue. And y'all know me, I'll keep picking at it and I'll just be like, I gotta just do it all over again. And so, again, I'm putting the first coat on all the areas that I'm going to be blinging out. This is uh, what I call my pre-patchings and I do this on anything that I use my stones on because you, you, the whole point is you're changing the surface. I don't want my stones to stick to that purse. I want my stones to stick to the adhesive and be locked in and that's how they don't come off. If you just put the thin coat and then start applying the blue, um, glue, that that's not a lot of support you want the stones to be supported and attached and that's why that hot fix slash e6000 combo is just the right thing it just locks them in there and they don't go nowhere and so again i'm applying the glue just in that area and i'm going to show you i also do this spackle effect because the reason why is it's honestly an awesome thing meaning if i just do a smear it on a thin coat of glue to let it dry even and when i say i let it dry i don't mean 15 10 minutes i mean i let it dry 24 to 48 hours and then i'll go in with my next coat and start applying my stones but before if you just do the thin coat even with a dry, if you pick, 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 you'll get like the edge up and then you could just peel that whole coat off there, that whole thin coat of glue. But if you do that spackle that you're going to see me doing and then let it dry like that, oh no, you can pick, pick, pick. You know how long it'll take you to get that glue off there? <laughs> be like, you won't even waste your time. And that's good because you want it like that. A lot of people will complain and say when they're doing their stones, um, they'll put the um, the coat on there and then they'll put the stones on, say it's the converse, the front part. And then they'll say it's so easy to peel up and then that'll come up in a stone. It's almost like a shell. That's the reason why. If you on your converse, do the coat of glue and then do that spackle. Do you see what I'm doing right now? And then let that dry. You That's not coming off like a a, a, a scab. Just just trust me on this. It's a, And see that effect? Yeah, that's. Okay, uh, right now I'm cutting out um, the rhinestone strips. That adhesive has already dried, so all I got to do now is just take the tape off and then get this party started with the rhinestone sheets. Okay, nobody wanted to hear that, but there we go. <laughs> so, right now that's just me. I told y'all I can't take excess glue, so I'm right now picking at it, as you I told y'all this previously. And I'm just cutting now to get the pieces of the glue that dried in place that I didn't want it or whatever and I'm just cleaning that up right then when I see it because I told y'all waiting mm -mm. back to the rhinestone sheets I love that he's a rhinestone sheets with the sticky back because they just 
awesome. And I apply them on top of the coat of E6000 that's dried. So they'll be secure at the bottom. And then I seal them on the sides and they locked in. Locked in. Guarantee it. And then y'all, of course, just like with the hot big stones, I hit all that with the heat when I'm done. So even if you go, maybe they're not locked in on the sides and underneath, I bet you they are after I hit them with the heat. Okay, so right now, like I said, I'm, I've already cut. It's a whole rhinestone sheet, but I like to cut them in strips because I just really love that. Y'all know I used to love those rhinestone chain links. Oh, I miss those. I miss, oh, why haven't I used those in a long time? Hmm. Oh, and if anybody was interested in knowing where I got those sheets from, the majority of the time, um, I'll order them off of Amazon. They'll have them three for, I think it's like three for 20. And if not, I mean, y'all know, hit be creative up. They got some awesome sheets over there. So, yeah, I'm just putting it where I want it to go. I'm still undetermined. I mean, not undetermined. I don't know about the bow because I, I know you're going, what, what's so... I still don't know if I want to bling the whole bow out, just the middle part. I don't know. I don't know. I still don't know. We'll we'll find out together. How about that? <laughs> and I was gonna use the butterflies, but then I started going, where the heck am I gonna stick those at? Because um, once I finish the purse, or uh, while you're seeing me doing it, it's just the whole point of the pattern that's on the purse. I just don't know if those butterflies are going to go. I love them because they're like really hair clips, but I like using hair clips, um, brooches. I love using all those for other things besides what they're supposed to be only used for. Y'all already know me. Think outside the box. I will always say think outside the box. So right now, like I said, I'm just adding the rhinestone sheet strips as trim around it to just give it that, that little sexy classic. You're like, yeah, I don't pay what I think the I can't remember if that purse was ten or fifteen dollars. I don't care. But I know by the time I finish with it, it'd be like, what? <laughs> you didn't fit it to what? No, I'm joking. This is my purse, so I'm not gonna sell my purse unless you put, come with some cash and then hey, you can have it. <laughs> like <laughs> Oh, and I'm gonna do a wallet also, but I don't think I'm gonna do a um I don't think I'm gonna do a, a a tutorial with the wallet because I just don't feel like it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It takes a lot of time to do this, and I'm a procrastinator, and I don't, you know, this is a lot to videotape it, fast forward it, commentary, and don't get me wrong, one or two people might watch, and I'm happy and thankful with that. How about this? If y'all like it, and more than one person <laughs> actually likes this video. Or even comments, I'll do more. And that, that way I don't feel like I'm wasting other people's time. And um, right now I'm sealing the stones. Like I told you, um, I use the same. I love these things. I got these off of Amazon too, y'all. It was a big pack of them. I can't remember if it was 25 of them or more. When I tell y'all it was under $10, that's what I'm talking. And I mean, they had the all size. They have the really big ones. They have the small and they have the tips and the um, container that, uh, all that in one. I'm like, yes. Yeah. And you can hold the E6000 in that. Oh, I did tell you that, right? Yeah. Yeah. How you like that one? I love bottles with, that can c contain and hold E6000 because y'all know that's strong. And now I'm just using the fan.